here you're going to see that we're looking for all the null values in the class code. It looks like Stanley Johnson should come back. Stanley's class code is null, which means there's an absence of value. There's nothing there. So when you say where class code equals null, it errors because it goes, wait a minute, it equals nothing? You're going to have to use the word is, and we'll see that next. There's only two ways to deal with nulls, is null or is not null. In this case, we want to select all columns from the student table where class code is null and Stanley Johnson comes flying back. Can you spot the error here? Notice that it says where class code equals not null. Anytime you want to find the rows where a particular column has a null in it, you'll have to use either is null or is not null. Never associate equal with a null. This is how we fix that last query. We want to find all the rows where the class code is not null. And if you use is not null, notice that all the rows came back except for Stanley Johnson because his class code was null. After the word select, columns on the report. After the word from, the table or tables we're pulling the information from. And in this case, we're going to say where the grade point is greater than or equal to 3.0. Only rows where the grade point is greater than or equal to 3.0 will return on the report. Some databases have what are called extensions. Here's an extension that will work on a few databases. GE, greater than or equal. That's not what's called ANSI standard. The American National Standards Institute got with all the vendors and said, I'm going to show you all the commands that we think are the standard way of doing things. And most of them follow it, but they do have some extensions. I do not suggest you use this for greater than or equal. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.